Hi, welcome back to another exciting episode of Getting Dirty with Coach Dalton. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lauren. And I'm Coach Dalton. Hope that you're ready to get dirty. This month on Getting Dirty with Coach Dalton, we're going to do a little bit of something different. You might even pick that up in the video. Amanda and Lauren love to get dirty, but I wouldn't let them. Because there's some times in this game that it's not about you. It's about letting the girl who's at third base be the one scoring that winning run getting dirty. We call that a sacrifice bunt. There's not a lot of girls in the game that love doing this. That's why we're going to focus on it so that you will love it. It's about letting somebody else get dirty for once. One of the things that I see a lot of girls do that really drives me nuts is they bunt like they're trying to hit. They try to extend their arms as though the pitcher doesn't have enough strength to get the ball to the plate. Trust me on this one thing. The ball's going to get to the catcher. You don't need to go out and meet it. Let it come to you. The first drill Lauren's going to demonstrate is simply a little hot potato drill. You've done this for years. Lauren's just going to square up like she's going to bunt and put her hands out. As the ball comes in, she's just going to let it softly hit her hands and drop. I don't want her pushing it out, so I'm going to put the bucket right below her. So if she does this right, the ball's just going to drop off her hands flat. If the pitch isn't right at her, obviously it's going to miss the bucket. But hopefully you're not going to see her pushing the ball back to me like we're playing catch. Nice job. That girl. Gonna have Amanda work in this drill this time. Only well, instead of doing it by yourself with me tossing to her, we're gonna do this like it's the real world. You've got to have somebody tossing the ball at you for bunting. You can't work bunting off of a batting tee, and it's probably harder for you to find an automated pitching machine as you're just getting used to this skill. So Lauren's going to do the same thing I did. They're going to start working the rest of these drills as partners. So Amanda's just going to square up, and Lauren's going to start tossing the ball to her. Nice job, ladies. Every once in a while, I am a nice guy. I'm going to let you actually have a bat for what we're going to do next. Because one of the things you need to learn once you're actually ready to try to bunt the ball is where you have to hold your hands. One of the things I think is an underlying fear for girls is getting their hands hit. That's why they don't want to bunt. They just kind of stick their hands out like this because they're afraid and they turn their head. As long as you know how to hold the bat and you're going to be safe, I think you're going to do a better job. So make sure you work this drill with me. All we're going to do is try to square up our hand on the bat somewhere to where our knuckles are showing. That's the hard part that you would knock on something really hard like concrete like that and not get hurt. So that's the part we want to show. One of the things we want to do with our thumbs is just kind of balance the bat with it so it's kind of on top. But you notice I'm not wrapping it around to where the ball can hit that either. So the, my knuckles are showing, my thumb is on top. And one of the things, my, my thumb is not like that. I don't want the bat to give and push back and strain that ligament there. So we're just going to square up, hold the bat with our knuckles showing, and our thumb on top. Go ahead and let's try that. Good girl. Try it again. Okay, square up. Show me it again. Okay, good. Now we're ready for the next step. Once you kind of understand that basic motion of showing your knuckles, having your thumb safe so that you know your hand's not going to get hurt, we're ready to move on. One of the key things to working on bunting is making sure that we're not going to drop the bat head. If I score up for a bunt like that and the ball comes off the top, it's going to pop straight up. That's an easy out for the catcher. I've seen so many plays where there's a girl at third. It's the winning run. Girl bunts the ball. It's a pop up straight up. She catches the ball. We double up the girl at third. We're out of the game instead of winning it. If the bat head is tilted just a little bit, and we're not going to worry about how far, 31 degrees, 47 degrees, as long as it's tilted, if it hits that, it's going to bounce up. It could go off but it's going to go foul instead of coming straight up. It's a little bit harder for the catcher to make a catch for a ball that's a three-foot pop-up in the dugout than it is right in front of the plate where she's sitting. So this time, Lauren, I want to make sure you get your hand up there far enough to where if you were to let go, the bat stays balanced. If your hand's way down here, bat head's going to drop. We don't want that. So we're going to have to get your hand up there far enough to where it's balanced. And Amanda, let me have you practice that same thing. Okay, let's square up. Take your left hand off. We're in good shape. If you feel it wobble, we need to go just a little bit higher. Okay, let's try that again. Go. Okay, 
One of the things, Lauren, I see your finger sticking out there begging to get hit, and that's your pitching hand. We don't want that to happen. That's what we want it to look like right there. Let's try it one more time. Go. Okay, and I'm zooming in now so that you can kind of see exactly where her hands are. Go ahead and let go of that bat head, Amanda. Perfect, you notice how it stayed balanced. Great job, ladies. You notice Amanda's in the same position we kind of finished up with before, with one exception. Notice she doesn't have her left hand on the bat. That's for a reason. She's got her glove on. Go ahead and show them that. Not many girls bunt with a glove. A man is a special, unique kind of character. Okay? One of the things we're working on is kind of catching the ball like a hot potato and not going out. That's an easy drill to do if you get used to catching the ball with the bat instead of hitting the ball with the bat. So all we're going to do is set that bucket up again. This time as Lauren tosses the ball, Mikey's simply going to reach out and catch it and let it drop in the bucket so she can get used to having the bat and making a catch and absorbing the ball instead of pushing out there with both hands, which a lot of girls have a tendency to do. Go ahead and let's give us a good toss here. Great job. Nice job, ladies. Here we go. Give us some good tosses. Okay, nice. Last one, Lauren did what's natural for her. She's used to catching. The ball wasn't right at her bat, so she reached out and catch it. I want you to give me another nice low one that she's going to have to reach for, but this time I want you to imagine that the glove is really here. Try to catch it with the bat. The glove just gets in the way of this hand catching the ball. Okay, good. Nice, much better. Good job. Our whole body, including the bat, is going down after there. All right, now give me that bat. Give me your glove on me. Okay, we'll get rid of that glove. We're going to try to do the same drill. This time, instead of this hand being in the glove, just go ahead and hold the bat. So show me the show me a swing, and then square up to catch it. And I want you to do the same thing. Imagine that you're just catching the ball, so it's just going to bounce and die. Okay, great. Let me have one more. Toss it up here towards me, Amanda. Okay, square up for me. One of the things you noticed is as a power hitter, she's really loving using the sweet spot of the bat. If you've watched the video or you rewind it, you're going to see she's really using that sweet spot of the bat. That's a beautiful thing if you're trying to go hit 300 feet. If we're trying to kill the ball, that's a little bit hard. She didn't push forward, but the ball just kind of instinctively bounced off or kind of trampolined off that sweet spot. This part of the bat is kind of the dead part of the bat. That's the part we want to use. So this time I want you to toss them to her. I want you to try to purposely get that dead part of the bat on there for me. Nice. Okay, great job. Now, no pop-ups. Let's keep the head of that bat up. All right, give us one more toss here, man. Great job.